Uh, also, too, difference between three and four, which are glycol base, then they're hydroscopic, meaning they absorb water. So you always want to use brake fluid from a sealed container. So it's sealed container also it doesn't mean you have to always use a brand new bottle. But you can't leave it open sitting around with no cap on it. So as soon as you pull the cap off, use your fluid, screw the cap back on because it will absorb water. That, that's why on three and four, it's recommended to change the brake fluid about every about every year or two. I think it's two years on some stuff. And uh, dot five, it does wear out, but dot five is hygroscopic, which means it's prone to aeration. So you don't want to take a bottle before you put it in and shake it up because you'll get little air bubbles in it. And then you'll have to wait when you're trying to bleed it because you'll have all these little extra air bubbles in there. So another thing too, dot three and dot four being glycol based, they'll eat paint, eat the clear coat, destroy stuff. Uh, dot five, you can dump it all, all over the entire bike. It doesn't do a thing to it. You just wipe it off. That's that's why they switched originally. Well, a couple of reasons why they switched originally. On the, on the seventies, they had uh, they had uh, cast iron master cylinders, and because the dot three is hydroscopic, it absorbs water, and people weren't really prone to changing their brake fluid. The master cylinders would rust, and then you'd have to rebuild them or get a new master cylinder, depending on how bad it was pitted. Since dot five doesn't absorb water, you re didn't really have that problem. Like I said, I can't remember when they switched on the Sportsters. I want to say 05 maybe across all the models, but it could have been 06 or 07. I don't know. Consult your owner's manual for that. So we got our dot five.